Good evening and happy Easter Sunday. The worn camera provided by Quickfill still seeing some plenty of blue sky in the area. We're going to continue to see some dry conditions for tonight as well. Storm Tracker is not showing any signs of rainfall, though the radar is picking up some things in the air. Thankfully, that is not rain. We're not going to be dealing with any showers for tonight and for next week as well. And thanks to our weather watchers, we know what the temperatures are. Here in Erie County, we're seeing those temperatures in the upper 40s as well as the low 50s and in Crawford County near Meadville as well as Cambridge Springs those temperatures are slightly warmer in the mid 50s we're going to see those temperatures dropping down to, to the 30s overnight the high reached 49 for today and earlier this morning that low was down at a chilly 28 degrees as for precipitation no rain for today but we're still at one inch for this month we're going to see lots of sunshine for this week still going to see milder conditions thanks to high pressure in control of the region. It's going to be pretty breezy by midweek as those winds start to change the direction. They're going to start to shift from the south and bring in some warmer air. And because of that warmer air, we could be warming up from the 60s to the 70s. Look at that temperature roller coaster throughout the week. Going to go uphill from the 60s to the low 70s. And we're still dealing with some high pressure and that's giving us plenty of dry air and that's blocking out any of the rain that is happening elsewhere, especially over in the Midwest. We're going to continue to see some high pressure affecting our area, but that high pressure system is slowly making its way down south and towards the east for tonight and early Monday morning. And as that high pressure system continues, that clockwise nature of the system is going to allow some wind speeds to change direction. And we could see some southerly winds blowing in some warmer air, and that will lead to temperatures kicking up to the 50s, possibly even near 60 degrees for tomorrow. And for the rest of the week, we're still going to see some warming conditions. That high pressure system will continue to make its way down south. And as that happens, we'll start to see even more chances of some southerly winds and some warmer air, allowing temperatures to reach the 60s by midweek. And for temperatures tonight, they're going to drop down to the mid 30s, upper 30s on the lake shore. Going to see those cool lake breezes down near Meadville and Greenville. We're going to see those temperatures in the low 30s. Frost could likely build up as those temperatures are near freezing over in the mountains. Slightly cooler, upper 20s, low 30s. Same deal. Could see some frost building up overnight. Overall, temperatures dropping down to the low 30s across our area. And then for tomorrow, they'll kick up to the low to mid 60s. It's going to be the start of our warm up for this week. Going to see those temperatures kicking up to the low to mid 60s and then to the 70s by the second half of the work week. Going to see those high temperatures as well as plenty of sunshine and warmth, though that's going to cook up the atmosphere enough to expect some cloud cover for Saturday as well as possibly a storm with showers for next Sunday.